into you, sir? Yeah, this is your meeting. Yeah, okay. So we're discussing um, Epic 509 on how we can do status updates. Um, everyone has a different opinion, me, Philip, and Jarv. So here we're yeah. kind of trying to figure out what's the best way to go. Uh, Jarv, you have most of the other agenda, so sure um, i'll start so uh, yeah i kind of wanted to just start off with like why are we doing this um this is uh i think primarily being driven from the management team because they're looking to uh you know standardize how we collect the data uh we want to see from a high level where each of the projects are um and by standardization also aligned with delivering scalability i think that's part of part of the goal here um that's pretty much it and i i was looking at the 509 epic and it was a bit disorganized i fixed and cleaned up a lot of the linked epics like a lot of them were just kind of in a weird state we had epics that were in progress that were definitely not in progress and and others are just kind of in wonky state so i, I think this will help um by breaking our top level epic into this into sections and table format we can kind of see where things are so that'll be another benefit and that's ignoring the whole status update and i think one option here would be just to omit status for now we could do that like that's not a that's not a problem if we want to but yeah. um on to number three um Philippe had some good feedback here and um i think to the tldr of this is that uh the the dri for each of the projects is like doing a lot of work here to keep status updates. We have three different ways to update status, either a comment. Now we have the summer, you know, summary status. And then of course you have uh, OKRs as well. Um, uh, 3A, I'm going back on, I don't think this is actually a good idea. Um, I, I, I discussed this with Rachel earlier and we were, I was thinking like, okay, some people are putting status in notes. Let's just use that as a uh, as a fallback. Um, Rachel brought up that like it, that that's okay, but um, we really want to have consistency across all the epics. And if some people are using mm -hmm. notes and some people are using descriptions, for people outside of infra coming in, it's going to be bad. So I think I agree with her. So I think uh, no, I, I think you know. that that is a very very good point. We either have to standardize or not do anything at all. Yeah. Um, could you talk a little bit about A1? A1, yes. A1. Um, so I really like what Deliver and Scalability do, like the project summary of what where we are, the status of that project. Mm -hmm. um, but the, the thing that I struggle with, with right now is if we look at our main epics attached to 509, they are mostly quarterly epics. So they're not a project itself. They're more uh, a grab bag of other of sub projects that we're going to do for that quarter, for example. So if we look at the observability team or like the Kitili one, mm -hmm. uh, the Kitili one has four sub epics attached to it. And those are the actual projects for that quarter. Um, the main one attached to 509 is just a quarterly epic to grab what's happening in that quarter, right? Uh, and that that epic doesn't really have a status. It's it's the sub epics that have a status in the sense like um, I don't know C groups is um, yeah maybe you can share your screen there and if yeah. you uh, open up the get a disabled counterpart for example. So this is just a quarterly app like a, an epic just for the quarter, and then we have sub epics attached to it which are the real projects right which is c groups uh operational improvements ssh access and so on and so forth yeah. um uh and so you think status, that each one of these like may, may have their own status is that exactly yeah so yeah. i do upgrade the status from time to time here um yeah. like that is the status of the project of that project right for example get c groups for example the yeah status we finished the cardinality problem, but and now we're moving on to uh, the logging improvements. Does but, the I'm sorry, does the nested epics here like does that make it work? 
Uh, yeah, I mean, the nested epics will have a status of, like linked to those, and then we can update yeah. the status in it, for example. Because I think um, they, maybe at the time when I ran this script, there weren't status lines. I'm not sure why, but typically they would be, we would show the status a, next to each of these. For sub-epics as well. Yes, yes. Um, oh. You can see in um, maybe scalabilities uh, where they have, no, I think they have a different, but yeah, or if it doesn't, I can, you know, it's, it's, it can be made to work. Like, I, I yeah. think that's not a problem. I don't know whether it's going to, the formatting might be a little, bit tricky uh but yeah i mean that's that's an option i guess but but your your suggestion is like get rid of the quarterly epics and i'm all for this if if everyone else feels like this is a good idea we have to do something with the issues that are directly attached to them though uh, uh yeah and th that is also another discussion i had yesterday with can with can about the issues that are directly attached to them like for yeah. example for the stable counterpart is like we sometimes get like operational work, like corrective actions that we need to address. Mm -hmm. uh, and it sometimes falls under the stable counterpart because it's the stable counterpart, right? Um, mm -hmm. uh, so it doesn't really, it's more of an interruption rather than project work, right? So how do we kind of add, like show that it was done in Q4, for example, that, uh, that project work? Uh, that's uh, uh, operations work and things like that. So uh, that's also more of a, a, another tricky situation because that interrupts project work, right? And sometimes it takes up a lot of our time, um, especially when uh, like a squad is just two people. So yeah. uh, how do we kind of show that like, oh, there's no status updates on these projects because we've been swamped by operations work because of correct directions and things like that, right? Um, but that might be a separate discussion for a separate situation. Uh, I, I kind of like getting rid of the quarterly OKRs and have like just projects, uh, epics attached to 509. And the, the ones that we're actually working on are moved to in progress. Uh, and then we can have status updates there, but yeah. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm game with that. Like, uh, yeah, let's uh, let's propose let's propose that to see if it works. And sorry, what are you saying that we would do with all the issues that are attached to the quarterly epic? No idea. Does, uh, does that then be orf orphans in the like? I mean, let them just not be attached to any epic at all. Yeah, another idea I've been toying with is have quarterly milestones where we can put mm -hmm. uh, those uh, stuff. So we have a milestone per squad, uh, per quarter, and then they just put all the interruption work in that uh, milestone and all the yeah. project work in that milestone. So then um, uh, we can look at, okay, this squad had 50% project work, 50% operational work. Like what, what's up in that situation? Yeah, like or so, or maybe just like the squad labels. label is enough, um, right? Yeah, because we can filter by date as well, right? And mm -hmm. we have dates for quarterly. So we can do that, yeah, using the squad label. That's even simpler work for everyone because they don't have to remember to add it to a mice. Yeah. And then we can just have a link to a board um, for like an overview of uh, broken down by squad, what exactly. issues. Um, I think there's a way to, like, I don't know if we're using the squad label consistently, but probably not. Um, mm. Yeah. I, I don't know how that would work, but um, I think it's worth proposing, and we'll see. We'll see what other people think about yeah. getting rid of the quarterly epics. How did the quarterly epics start? Who was who initiated that? <laughs> uh, I kind of started them last uh, last quarter, and like uh -huh. people, maybe people copied it. I don't know. I like 
uh, I, I experimented them with last uh, last quarter and it yeah. worked fine but like uh, it ended up making this main epic an awkward topic that now i think rahab uh, also came up with the idea to be honest uh -huh. okay um so we can do that and then uh well okay so we'll do status updates for the project but right now what we're doing is weekly reports like here's what's done here's what's in mm -hmm. progress and here are the blockers uh, uh and those reports are different than project status right in my opinion anyways because mm -hmm. uh would we want to get rid of them overall uh yeah, I don't. Sure. I don't know. I I don't know, and I and I don't know whether these types of status like updates are being, uh, like, are being done consistently across squads. Um, maybe they're being done like a different, like different way depending on the yeah. squ squadron. Um, I don't know. Like for example, this the script as it's written would take a look at this and it would actually just show an empty status because. It only looks up until the next heading. So, no. <laughs> um, okay, wonderful. Right. Um, which you kind of have to because we're in the business of just like matching free form text here. It's very yeah. tricky. I was thinking that maybe that's a good thing in this case. Like maybe we just say, like, okay, um, you have free form text after the heading to give your one or two sentence update. And mm. anything below that can just be like you could use this shift in progress if if people find it useful. Yeah, that's a good, that's a really good point. So uh, yeah. you, you you leave the free form text as a uh, excerpt of what's the overall progress of the project, and then yeah. you can leave the pro the weekly reports there. That makes sense. Okay, cool. Um, all right. Uh, so we already talked about. Yeah, we just talked about four, number five. Yeah, we don't know what to do about the, the orphan issues. That will result in getting the report of the epic. So, um, yeah. but maybe they can just be orphans, and that's okay. Um, yeah. So, I'm interested, like, what you're doing with OKR as an ally, even though ally is going away. Um, so, we do two different reports: status report. This is weekly. Uh, how long? You're, At the moment, you're, this, you're, you're, so, you're, um, okay, we're back. And uh, we were just talking. I'm going to share my screen again. We were just talking about, uh, we were talking about OKRs, right? Yep, by number six. Uh, yeah. So, um, yeah, I was wondering whether uh, you've done this linking between KR and GitLab issues. There's an integration so that you don't have to update the KRs directly. Yeah, the problem with that is you have to add issues like one by one yeah. Yeah. for each KR. And like sometimes you end up creating issues of the cuff, like, oh, we need to do this because we didn't think of it. And you open up an issue, right? So then you have to remember to add it to uh, Ally as well. So what I've yeah. done, I've done this purely uh manually every week i do a one sentence status update and update the percentage to whatever percentage i think I see. it's done and that's it um and that's where i give give the project status updates and and the epic i give the weekly update but um as we discussed we can move uh both of them in the epic if we get rid of the quarterly epics i guess yeah have you tried using the label function i thought maybe that could work uh i think you still have to you choose uh issue okay uh you still have to choose issues because okay we have the label function but uh for example gitaly counterpart has four krs right like for four okay. epics uh so how do you associate this app this issue for this KR and this issue for yeah. the other KR if they're using the same label, right? Unless you end up creating labels for each KR, which that's what I was that's what I was thinking. Like you could have a label like OKR-infra, a scope label, 
with mm. um, a name and then you could just assign, I'm not sure if that's any much better than going to Ally and updating it, but if we did that, then we could just slap that label on any issue associated with the OKR. Mm. Um, and then you would never have to go to Ally. Yeah. Uh, and I would also kind of argue, is it actually worth doing all that if we're going to get rid of Ally? Yeah, uh, probably not. Uh, no, probably not. Yeah, yeah. I just, <laughs> the court I'm does. just, yeah, I'm just trying to like, I was, I'm sympathizing with this, like, you know, yeah. having to update status in three different places, you know, like it just sucks. Uh, it does. But yeah. if we get rid of the quarterly epic, then the status would be just in the project epics that are in progress and yeah. uh, ally and it can be a copy pasta thing yeah. it's literally just copy pasting the thing and then updating the percentage in ally um i'm not sure what other uh squad leads think and uh, the engineering yeah. managers so um uh yeah okay so next steps is propose that we get rid of quarterly epics mm -hmm. um I'm not sure the best way to go about this because there's lots of people involved here, but I guess we could just talk to each of the, um, let's see who we're gonna need to reach out to. Uh, and Should we just we, do like the, 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 DR. the DRIs, I guess? I would say so, yes. Uh, okay. And we we would need to be okay that like for example for Gitele, let's say we have two ongoing projects we're gonna see those two projects in Epic five hundred nine we're completely fine with that right yeah that's that's fine it will just show them both in progress yeah exactly um, so let's say we so we change the parent of the linked epics and take all the issues and apply a squad label, I guess, for now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oops. So. Okay. Uh, 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 and to give some context about the squad labels and orphan issues, um, uh, I, I, I'm in the middle of writing a proposal to uh, have a size and graph on like how much project work versus uh, operations work each squad is doing. Mm -hmm. um, and th this would be really useful for the stable counterpart teams to show, okay, this team is doing a lot of operation works and the project needs either more people or to rethink how we're doing some operations for things. So um, yeah. Um, so the, this also moves into the direction. And what mm -hmm. I really like is about this as well, um, this moves in, us into the direction of uh, using epics as OKRs in the future, which is what I understand that we're going to do next quarter. Um, yeah, I'm wondering, I'm wondering if like we could, so by definition, project work is an issue that's associated with one of the project epics, mm -hmm. any other issue that has just the squad label without an epic associated is, um, we, is not like, I guess, just regular work and yeah. you're saying we, we were going to start tracking that. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I, I've been attaching the work label as well. We have work general, work incident, and work project. Yeah. I've been trying to maintain those, but we can kind of go under the assumption if it doesn't have an epic, it's uh, work general kind of thing. So, yeah. Yeah, I was, I was thinking, like, are these work labels still useful or if they ever were useful? Like, if, we, if they're redundant or because I, I would be tempted just to update the work labels automatically but if we do that then what's the point of keeping them so maybe yeah 
Um, if the, I think before we didn't really, we weren't really organized with our epics, so maybe this was more useful, but now if we are more yeah. organized. I mean, um, okay, so who's going to do what here? Uh, I guess I'll, I'll just take, I'll just take uh, the first. Yeah. Uh, and prepare and child epic state it can be done by the DRIs themselves when you reach out to the squad leads. Okay. Uh, I, I would say that's uh, that's uh, so so little work for them to do. Um, yeah. Okay. Um I'll uh, probably just squad, yeah. Even mm -hmm. squad labels, uh it would be uh best to do that. And maybe the best way we can reach out is maybe update the handbook on how this should work. Like um so then we can um, just yeah, ping the point. DRIs and tell them hey this is the new process and then they can complain uh as much as we want in the marriage request okay cool so i'll do i'll do those two things and um, ping the DRIs to uh close the quarterly epics and reparent the child epics of those mm -hmm. um yeah that sounds that sounds good. Um, yeah. Does this give visibility to upper management, the, the, the visibility they want? I guess we'll we'll see. I think the, the main thing that's sort of outstanding is how status is collected and displayed. And um, I think what I'll probably do, maybe in the handbook, we can recommend be more explicit. Um, so one is, so yeah, what do we want to put in the handbook here? Do we want to say like just kind of more generally like we create these project epics and they're associated with okay. So yeah. um epics, um every epic, every project pro project epic description should have a status and DRI entry and DRI. We we do have a template in the handbook which we can update to okay. follow this. Not, not is it in the handbook or is it just a? It's it's in the handbook. Um, okay. Let's find it. I'm going to add it to the agenda. Yeah, sure. Because right, we cool. have a page on, uh, on projects, so. Um... Okay. And um, and we kind of like the guideline of, um, you know, a text description underneath the status heading that's short. And then if you want to put more stuff underneath it, you can use subheadings and they're just exactly. excluded. Yeah. yeah. Okay, uh, that no. works. Uh, I think that works really well. And um, we can also document the usage of labels for epics, like every move it to in progress and whatever. Because um, I wasn't yeah. aware of that, to be honest. I wasn't aware we were supposed to do that. But yeah. But I think like, we weren't supposed to do it. It wasn't really socialized, and it just um, it's it's brought to the surface by this description yeah. automation, right? So you kind of see like um, cool. Okay, uh, that sounds good. Uh, yeah. Is there any, anything else? Um, no, I think this is a really good iteration for less overhead and more status up clear status updates for upper management so i think it's cool really all right steve thanks for uh the chat no problem see you so